Five minutes growing for today's solar eclipse. It will be visible to 31 million people along the path of totality. And millions are hitting the skies and the roads to be somewhere along the path, including many people in the tri-state area heading out on a road trip this morning. And it's proving to be a money maker for a lot of businesses. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live at the Franklin Institute, one of the many places around here where you can watch the partial solar eclipse. Hey, Catherine. Hey guys, yeah, it's going to be a fun afternoon. There are viewing parties all over the place so people can take this in together. One of those places is the Franklin Institute. It's going to be on the front steps along the 20th Street sidewalk. You'll be able to observe the eclipse under their large solar filter tents through their specially equipped telescopes. You can also bring your own eclipse glasses. This has been highly anticipated. I would say right now we're on to about 300 cupcakes in the past two days, about 40, 50 of the cakes. And the cake pops we've sold out of twice, and each batch makes 200. At Loschel's Bakery in Hatboro, they have goodies ready for the occasion. Cakes, cupcakes, and cake pops, celestial sweet treats to celebrate the total solar eclipse. The path of totality across the United States, where viewers can see the moon totally block the sun, will be a strip approximately 115 miles wide, crossing portions of 15 states from Texas to Maine. The Philadelphia area is not in the path of totality. Uh, path of totality, rather. According to the Franklin Institute, the moon will cover 90% of the sun around Philadelphia, but the partial solar eclipse still has people around here excited. Some schools have canceled outdoor activities for when the eclipse will start to be visible around 208. Many schools are providing educational opportunities or even handing out special viewing glasses. At Tyler State Park in Richboro, park rangers have been prepping kids how to safely view it. We're not going to have an eclipse quite like this one for another maybe 350 years. The most important thing is to protect your eyes. You don't look directly at the sun on a normal day, and you definitely don't look at the sun during an eclipse. It's really cool. I mean, it happens very rarely, so it's really cool to experience this with her and her being so young and, you know, seeing it for the first time. Today's viewing party here on the steps of the Franklin Institute with Chief Astronomer Derek Pitts is free and open to the public, but keep in mind, museum admission is not included. We're live at the Franklin Institute, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. All sounds like fun. Thanks, Catherine. ABC News and National Geographic are partnering to provide extensive live coverage of the solar eclipse. Eclipse Across America will air live from 2 to 4 p.m. here on 6 ABC, ABC News Live, National Geographic, Disney Plus, and Hulu. Disney is the parent company of 6ABC.